Yet another sold out concert on the Witch Off Music Series. We're so happy you're here. Um, I would, of course, be remiss if I did not thank Dr. Jeannie and Rex Singfield for their incredible support of the series. We are also grateful to the Regional Arts Commission and the Missouri Arts Council for the support of the series. Do check out our exhibit on the first floor, Donna Dodson, Match of the Matriarchs. It's a very fascinating exhibit celebrating chess and femininity and nature and all kinds of good stuff. So do go ahead and check that out when you get a chance. And don't miss our next concert happening next month. We are welcoming the young artists from Opera Theater St. Louis to be opening their season just for us. So do make sure you come back next month to hear these incredible singers. All of our programming can be discovered at World chesshof.org. And now I'm very happy to bring on uh, this musician that I have centered the program around tonight. Um, I'm only one of the friends tonight, as you can see in the program. It's not my program. I was very happy to play with this violinist last year, and uh, we're going to present a piece to open the program by Lily Boulanger, who is a young composer who died very young, but wrote one of the masterpieces like the one you're about to hear. So without further ado, please welcome Andrea Jarrett. <laughs>
you so much for coming. I hope that was a warm welcome to our concert. Um, that was the Boulanger afternoon of springtime, and now we are moving to the Ravel Violin Sonata. This is a masterwork for the instrument and just in classical music in general. I have wanted to play this piece for my entire life. I said that in the pre-concert talk. I have to say it again because I still feel that way. Um, so it's finally happening. Um, it's in three movements. The second movement in particular is very exciting. It's um, it's inspired by the blues, and Ravel actually was inspired after hearing the blues of St. Louis, St. Louis blues, to write that movement. Um, all the three movements are very different, very unique. The last, last movement is really fast. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you all very much. We have to keep moving, we have another big piece. Um, I'd like to bring to the stage our collaborators for the evening. Please give a big round of applause to Andrew Francois and Davin Rubitz. I wanted to give them a little time. They have to uh, get set up because we're in a bit of a different setup for the foray. So I'll tell you a little bit about this piece as they're doing that. Foray was one of the eminent French composers of his time. He was the composition professor and the head of the Paris Conservatoire. Both the composers you've heard earlier tonight, Lily Boulanger and Maurice Ravel, both studied composition 
with Gabrielle Ferre, whose piece you're about to hear. Aaron Copland, a very famous uh, American composer, has written that Ferre is the French Brahms. So you're going to be hearing a lot of that kind of beautiful melodies, lush textures, incredible uh, emotional moments, but it's also French music. So you're going to get a lot of lightness, a lot of um, non-traditional harmonies, because the French were very interested in Renaissance and medieval music, and you're going to hear a lot of those kinds of is that really right? You know, kinds of harmonies, just because he's so daring with what he chooses to write. Um, this piece is in four movements. The first is in a typical sonata form. We have an opening section that develops and then repeats at the end. And then we have a scherzo, which is a very quick, very light movement. You'll see me dancing all over the keys over here. And then the third movement is very heavy, very dark, but no less uh, enjoyable and powerful than the rest of the piece. And the fourth movement is a tour de force for all of us to really show you what we've got. <laughs> so everyone, please enjoy Gabriel Fauré's Piano Quartet Number 1. <coughs>
Thank you.
Thank you.